yes. up here and I saw you and I'm like, oh. okay, I've done interviews with her. And last time we did an interview, we were the same height and now uh. we're taller. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so grown up. Are we recording? Oh, perfect. Oh, awesome. That was, no, that was great. That was a very okay. good reunion moment. How have you yeah. been? I've been good. Thank you. How have you been? I've been great. I actually, this is my first red carpet event back since COVID. So oh, wow. it's, um, I'm, uh, I live very close by. So I'm like, you know what? Let's come out. It's outside. Well, yeah, it my sounds first safe. Interview since COVID too. Really? I, I oh my gosh. I a red carpet, but sort of snuck by the interviews. So you're my oh. first. <laughs> oh, that's so exciting. Yeah, it's it's so great to see you again. You've obviously been doing amazing things. When we last talked, Fuller House was on season five, and I almost started crying in the interview. I think you did too, but yeah. <laughs> sorry to bring that up. I'm sorry. <laughs> but now you have Felix in the Hidden Treasure, and correct me if I'm wrong, this is your first voice acting role? Yeah. That's that's really cool to me, and the reason is I feel like a lot of people, and maybe this is just the people I know, they almost start in voice acting because it's just your voice rather than voice and facial expression, but you kind of did that backwards. Yeah. So I'm wondering, do you feel like even when you were recording, you were still almost pretending as if it was live action so that you could really embody the character? I definitely had to like act out what I was like... Uh. If you know what I mean, like no, okay. physically do what I was doing. Okay. Um, otherwise, it sort of felt weird. <laughs> like, you know, okay, it sort of sounds stale if you're punching someone and not actually doing anything. Okay. Like, if, yes. if I'm just standing here making punching noises, it's going to sound weird, if you yeah. know what I mean. Of so, um, I did have to sort of like act out what I was doing, yeah. Gotcha. Well, it was, I'm sure it was a great process, and the movie looks so, so cute. I haven't seen an animated movie in a long time and what I love about this just from the trailer is it seems like it's it's a family friendly movie but like people my age would also get a deeper meaning from it you know just about like finding yourself and kind of navigating the world sometimes alone so what is the main message you hope that viewers take home from it well the message I hope viewers take home from the show is definitely that family and friends are one of the greatest treasures in life they definitely are. And you're very close with your family. I think last time I talked to you, you said you and your siblings were, um, you know, getting to that age where you fought a little bit. Is that still happening? Getting better? Definitely getting better. <laughs> uh, me and my sister went to a sleepaway camp last week for the first time in our lives. So that was really cool. And before we left, uh, we made a pact not to turn on each other uh, while at camp. And honestly, I've never gotten along with you for so long ever in my entire life. Yeah. Oh my uh, God. <laughs> I'm actually excited to see you. Awesome. We have it on camera, guys. Yeah. <laughs> like, you can't make this up. That's That makes me really happy. I have a twin brother and we went to sleepaway camps and we just ignored each other. So I guess in a way we didn't fight, but it's because we purposely did not spend any time yeah. together. But I love it. I love it. Um, and do you have any other projects coming up that you can talk about? This one. Besides this one? Uh, Taking a break? Or, I mean, I know this would fresh out. I'm not saying like you need to work on something tomorrow. That's not what I was <laughs> implying, I promise. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, no, I am taking a bit of a break. Uh, I'm, my life is pretty packed right now. I just started college courses in French. What? Um, so, literally, I start my class every day at 11 and don't finish till 5. Uh, it's demanding. <laughs> and it's like you're doing like all college level courses or do you just want to I'm take French? just doing French right now. Yeah. That's amazing. It's supposed to be a 16 week thing though and they're cramming it into six so that it's getting done before the end of summer. So it's going to be easier. I'm going to take uh, French 2 over the school year along with I think it's psychology. Um, and that's going to be easier hopefully. Yeah. That's insane that's great for you i did summer Thank classes you. but i did it when i was in college and you're like oh way 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 ahead do you think that one day you'll want to also act uh, in french films like is that your goal or is this just more of a hobby you want to pursue like learning a second language well i mean i really i i've always sort of had this goal reachable or not to learn uh all if not most of the latin languages in my life at some i mean i've got uh spanish already but Working on French now, um, although working in a film on another language would be a brand new experience, definitely. Yes, for sure. Just like this one was, you're going to keep having different experiences within the whole realm of acting. And I'm so excited for you. I think it's great. Thank you're you. doing amazing things. It was so, so, so great to see you again. Do you just want to give um, a little shout out, tell everyone to check out the movie and then uh, your social media? Check out Felix and the Hidden Treasure on Amazon, iTunes, DirecTV, and On Demand. And you can find me on Instagram at Elias Harker.
Perfect. Thank you so much. Yay. Congratulations again. So good to see you. It was great seeing you again. Thank you. Bye.